Hello students, welcome to the session. The topic of discussion is amniotic fluid disorders. That means polyhydroamnios and oligohydroamnios. So when the liquor is more, we call it poly. When the liquor is less, we call it oligohydroamnios. So we will first, as usual, let me tell you the weightage. So this is the topic of discussion, polyhydroamnios, oligohydroamnios. Very, very important topic, must know topic. Whatever may be your entrance exam, one MCQ for sure. Sometimes even two MCQs may come on this topic, but at least one minimum. And final year student, of course, very important. You can get a short note, long answer and a very popular case also. Many of you may get it as a short case and clinical findings are asked to you in the exam management. So everything overall, you can say three star, five star topic, very, very important, like a disorder. Okay. So first we'll discuss polyhydramnios. What is the meaning, definitions, clinical features, and then go on to the man, uh, then go on to the management, and then discuss oligohydramnios. Okay, so basically, what is the meaning of polyhydroamnios? And for this, we need to remember a very very important concept of AFI, amniotic fluid index. Okay, yes, I told you that I'll be teaching you this. So, what is AFI? It is a radiological. You require sonography. Okay, it is a sonography measurement, AFI is amniotic fluid index and only with the help of sonography can I find out. Now, what is this? Please pay careful attention. So, this is the baby. Okay, the fluid will always appear black on USG. Okay, in our previous videos, in our previous video of amniocentesis and all that, I have shown you images where I have shown you the liquor pockets. Okay, so fluid, so this is the baby. There uh, would be the placenta. And all this around the baby, all this around the baby is the black, the fluid will appear black. So all this is the black color fluid around the baby. Okay. So just assume all this fluid around the baby is black in color. Okay. Now what we do in AFI, any idea what is done in AFI? Yes. Four quadrants. Okay. We put the we put the sonography probe on the maternal left upper quadrant, left lower, right upper, right lower. And in each quadrant, what do I measure? We measure the deepest vertical pocket. Okay, please pay careful attention. It has to be deepest. It also has to be vertical. So four quadrants. So example, here I put the probe and here we get a pocket. This is an example. Here I get a pocket of four centimeters deepest vertical pocket in centimeters here we get a pocket of three centimeter example suppose here i again get a pocket of three centimeter and suppose here i get a pocket of five centimeter what will i do subtract multiply add divide yes addition okay so all four quadrants pocket you will take and you will add all of them so this patient's four and three seven 7 and 3, 10, 10 and 5, 15. This patient's AFI is 15 centimeter. Is this clear? Very simple. Deepest. But the point here is, so this could be a virgin image based MCQ. This could be a virgin image based MCQ where, they might just give you the simple figure and tell you calculate the AFI. So point number one, the measurement has to be in centimeters. Point number two, I am supposed to measure a vertical pocket so just to confuse you they might give you extra thing they might also say so there is a pocket over here of two centimeter but do i consider this no why because this is horizontal so don't count this two and suppose sir one vertical pocket is five and along with this we are also getting a pocket of say suppose two centimeter vertical which one to choose between five and two yes sir five so extra numbers like how in your maths papers in the school they used to extra information to confuse you same thing so remember the pocket should be deepest and it should be a vertical you can't measure a horizontal pocket so simple four quadrant addition deepest vertical pocket that is your afi and you add all four of them so it could be in numbers four 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 aya afi 16 okay as per this criteria anybody as per this criteria what is yes sir afi more than or equal to 25 centimeter is called as polyhydramnios and when the afi is less than 5 centimeter i call it as oligohydroamnios but Majority students know only this. 
my student three definitions. Okay, I'm going to teach you three definitions. So first definition, you know, is sir, AFI more than or equal to 25 centimeter. Second, we go by the overall quantity. If overall the quantity of liquor is more than two liters, then also it is called as polyhydramnios. Okay, oligo we'll discuss later on. Don't worry. And third is a very very new thing. Please pay attention. AFI is four quadrants. Okay, AFI is four quadrant. Okay, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, and we are supposed to add. Okay, so AFI is four quadrant. But instead of that, there's also one more criteria of a single. Okay, deepest vertical single pocket. Okay, single deepest vertical pocket. Or we even call it as MVP, maximum vertical pocket. Okay, so there are different names: deepest vertical pocket, single deepest vertical pocket, or maximum. So if any of the quadrant, if the deepest or a single deepest vertical pocket is more than eight centimeter, because again remember two to eight is considered normal. Don't get confused. Both these are ultrasound criteria, but AFI. Is amniotic fluid index where we are adding four quadrants, and this is the single vertical pocket (SVP). A single vertical pocket, two to eight centimeter, is considered normal. So, if in any of the quadrant, if example, I get a pocket here of nine centimeter, that is called as polyhydramnios. Okay, so please pay very very careful attention. Three definitions clap if you have learned something new. Sir, more than two liters of amniotic fluid. Or AFI more than 25 centimeter equal to 25 or more, and single largest, largest or the deepest mean the same thing. Largest vertical pocket of more than 8 centimeter because 2 to 8 is considered normal. Okay, so if a deepest vertical pocket is more than 8 centimeter, that's why I give example over here of 9 if it's more than 8 centimeter because 2 to 8 is considered normal. So in any one quadrant, so don't get confused. This is four quadrant. This is any single quadrant. Okay, single. So single deepest or largest vertical pocket. Some people even say maximum in maximum vertical pocket. Okay, but deepest or the largest vertical pocket more than eight centimeter single quadrant. Okay, both these are on USG. AFI is also on ultrasonography and is also on USG. Now, very very important. What are the causes of polyhydroamnios? Okay, what are the cause of polyhydramnios? Okay, before that, again simple, again just because let me complete it over here. Okay, AFI less than hundred mL, hundred mL, and when I told you single vertical pocket two to eight, so more than eight centimeter, and what is normal, sir? Two to eight is normal, isn't it easy? So oligo will be. Yes, sir. Less than two centimeter. If a single vertical pocket is less than two centimeter, so this six definitions ready. Three definitions for poly, three for oligo. Already discussed. If I more than twenty five centimeter, overall liquor level more than two liters, or single vertical pocket more than eight centimeter, is poly. If I less than five, overall fluid less than hundred mL, or single vertical pocket less than two centimeter. This becomes my definition for oligo. Okay, now very very important. All of us know fetal urine. All of us know fetal urine contributes to liquor. Yes or no? Fetal urine contributes to liquor. That's the main thing. So now, whenever I ask anybody, what are my causes of polyhydroamnios? The first thing which I get in the answer, sir, kidney problem, renal problem. No. All the kidney renal problem will cause oligo. Why? Because fetal urine contributes to liquor. Now, please pay attention. Baby passes urine. Baby passes urine, and baby swallows the same thing. It might look very disgusting now, but all of us have done the same thing in the intrauterine life. What? Okay, what you pee, the same you drank. Okay, what you pee, the same you drink. This symbol, remember, yo, lifelong. Okay, baby passes urine, and baby swallows the same thing. So lifelong. So what you pee, the same you drink. Okay. Thankfully, we don't do such things now. But all of us have done the same thing in the intrauterine life. What what you pee, that only you pee. Okay. जो पी किया वो ही पिया. Okay. So what you pee, what you pee. This P, first P is English. P double E P. What you pee, the same you pee. Pee लो. Okay. Same you pee. Pee मतलब in Hindi pee. Second वाला pee is drink. Okay. Pee लो लगा. Okay. 
सो वॉट यू पी सेम यू पी ओके सेम यू पी मतलब सेम यू ड्रिंक और सेम यू सोलो ओके सो लाइफ लॉन्ग एज आई सेड नो बडी विल फॉर गेट यू रिमेंबर दिस सिंबल सच थिंग्स कीप ऑन हैपनिंग इन द इंटरप्टर एंड लाइफ थैंकफुली वी डोंट डू सच थिंग्स नाउ ओके सो वेर एवर वेर एवर वेर एवर द बेबी कैनॉट पास यूर इन इफ द बेबी कैनॉट पास यूर इन द लाइकर विल ऑब्वियसली बी गोइंग टू बी लेस बट वेर एवर बेबी कैनॉट स्वॉलो द लाइकर नाउ द लाइकर विल बी मोर इज इट अंडरस्टूड टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो जो पी किया वो ही पिया जो पी किया वो ही पिया ओके इज इट क्लियर ये सो वॉट यू पी सेम यू पी ओके सो नाउ कीप इन माइंड ये सो नाउ यर ऑल माई स्वॉलोइंग डिफेक्ट मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज इडियोपैथिक कॉज इज नॉट नोट ओके सो जस्ट रिमेंबर थ्री थिंग्स जस्ट रिमेंबर थ्री थिंग्स वेन वील डिस्कस कॉज इज ऑफ पॉली मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर द कॉज इज इडियोपैथिक एग्जैक्ट कॉज इज नॉट नोन सेकेंड ऑल द स्वॉलोइंग डिफेक्ट्स वेर एवर देर इज स्वॉलोइंग प्रॉब्लम एनोमल इज इन द बेबी लाइक योर इसोफेजल अट्रेजिया डिओडिनल अट्रेजिया डायफ्रेगमेटिक हर्निया ऑल दैट ओके सो स्वॉलोइंग सो फर्स्ट इज इडियोपैथिक सेकेंड इज एनोमलीज इन द बेबी नाउ टू टाइप्स ऑफ एनोमली विच एनोमली सर वन वे स्वॉलोइंग इज डिफेक्टिव स्वॉलोइंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल